Ladies and gentlemen, we now lighting the ceremonial lamp. And a special today for a very memorable and eventful day. Thank you to the 2014 and all of us present here. Tribal welfare and citizens' welfare, and as Chancellor of Universities in the state, has appointed Vice Chancellor of Seas. A person of great accomplishment and achievement, he remains at all times a man of the masses. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our chief guest, Sri P. Shepherd Narayan, on the Club of Maharashtra, as I request the Director of the Club, Ms. Dini Barani Singh, to kindly felicitate. Our honourable chief guest. We are privileged to have in grace this occasion as our guests of honour some truly eminent personalities from fields of public service, government, education, and lifestyle, and would like to welcome them to NIFT Convocation 2014. <laughs> May I request Professor Rebecca Fink to kindly welcome Ms. Shabana Aspi, eminent film personality and social activist. We are request Professor Joe Chapman Pantel, Chairperson of FP to kindly welcome Sri Vishwas Deval, Chairman Maharishi Karvayan's three Shikshav Samstha. <laughs> May I request Mr. Bhutu Kumar to kindly be welcome Professor Vikas Satwalikar, former Executive Director, National Institute of Design. May I request Mr. P. H. Hart to kindly welcome Sri I. B. Deepzada, IES retired, former Commissioner, Technical Education Government of Gujarat, and our former Director. And may I request Sri Pati Bhatt to kindly welcome our Director, Ms. Neelama Rani Singh.
A warm welcome also to each of you, ladies and gentlemen, parents, well-wishers, and friends. Welcome to Lift Convocation 2014. May I now request the Director of the National Institute of Fashion Technology, Mumbai, Ms. Neela Marani Singh, to kindly bid you a formal welcome to Lift Convocation 2014 and present the... And a very warm welcome to Sri K. Sankar Narayanan, Honorable Governor of Maharashtra. Srimati Shavana Azmi, eminent film personality and social activist. Shri Pramod Hindu Rao, Chairman Sidko. Shri Viswas Deval, Chairman Maharshi Karvestri Sikshan Sansthan. Shri Vikas Satwalikar, former ED NIT, and Shri I.P. P. Zada, retired IAS and former Commissioner of Technical Education, Gujarat. I also extend a very warm welcome to all the parents who have chosen to substandard 11. Lippi Chaudhary participated in the international conference organized by NIFT Hyderabad and presented a paper on a study on consumer motivations and purchase behavior towards fashion and lifestyle products in fashion environment. Tanmay Kandekar participated in the international conference organized by NIFT Hyderabad and presented a paper on IPR issue in fashion industry and analytical approach with respect to copyright and design. Rupa Agarwal and Sushmita Daspal presented a paper in the conference of design during the various academic work and other related activities and would be the biggest fashion campus in the country. The hostel facility for girls in the new building would be operational from August 2014. The academic year 2013-14 has been yet another remarkable one for the students. The extracurricular activities continued with great enthusiasm and scaled new heights. The students participated and have won awards, prizes in various national and international fashion contests. Tushar Kuche of FD Semester 8 won the Runner Award for the first time entering the award in the Madura Fashion and Lifestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Shivan Asmi. Governor of Maharashtra, Shri K. Shankar Narayanji, members on the dais, members of the faculty of NIFT, students, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's a mark of the gray hair that I've acquired in the last few years that I get invited to a lot of convocations. <laughs> I'm delighted to see all these wonderful, eager, anticipating faces, and I congratulate all of you who are going to get your convocation address and consequently your degree. I would just take on from where the previous speaker spoke and would like to say that fashion is really much more than just fashion as we understand it. Fashion is a philosophy, fashion is an aesthetic, fashion is a lifestyle. Fashion, when you graduate from an institute like NIFT, which has such a high profile and so respected in the country, it's important that every one of you reflects the aesthetic that you've learned from here in every space that you occupy and in every place you find yourselves. It's not just about what you learn in your academic year. I'm extremely hopeful because 50% of India is under the age of 25. That's a huge resource base. All of you, the young, are poised to bring about change through education and through the way you think. It's extremely important that you are also socially aware, socially conscious, realize that you have in your hand a skill through which you can also empower others as you go along with you. I'm very happy that you have the cluster initiative in which work is done with artisans because I truly believe that when you look at fashion today, uh, one tends to look at silhouettes, but the fact is we gain silhouettes from the West. What we do have, which they don't have, is craft. We have craft that they value and craft is what can bring Indian fashion to the international world. So concentrate on craft and what you can offer it. I'm very happy that my NGO, Mijwa, was mentioned here. Thank you very much for that. It's a very tiny village in Azamgarh, UP, 
where women, because they were taught embroidery, they were taught chicken curry, and then now through Manish Malhotra have also gone abroad, have suddenly acquired a means of livelihood through which they can negotiate more space for themselves within what is a patriarchal family structure. Because they are earning money now, they can negotiate more space for themselves. So I would end giving all of you my heartiest congratulations and saying, as you proceed in the world, know that along with the right, you also have a responsibility and please work to see that you empower people as you go along with yourself. It will be a win-win situation. Thank you, Ma'am, for your gracious words and your kind support and encouragement to our graduates by your very gracious presence here. I shall now request to address the distinguished audience, a person with a long and illustrious career in public life. Please put your hands together for Sri Prabhupada Hindurao, Chairman, City and Industrial Development Corporation, or CIPO. Ladies and gentlemen, Sri Prabhupada Hindurao. The Honorable Governor. environment and environment. 
different regions and communities have had different kinds of healthcare. <coughs> they have the people distinct identity. There is no country in the world to match such vast and varied diversity in clothing. I venture to say that we are global leader in fashion and design. I was governor of Nagaland for nearly three years. Nagaland is inhabited by 16 main tribes. All these tribes have their unique culture, tradition, customs and festivals. They have their distinct and importantly they have unique ethics. That is the beauty of India. As graduates and the students of fashion, I appeal to you to study and understand India in all its diversity, including its clothing. The freedom struggle of India had an element of heroic duty. Mention of the word Khadi brings to mind the memories of the freedom movement led by Mahatma Gandhi, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, and Dishkar Khadi as the labor of freedom. Thanks to Mahatma Gandhi, appeal to the masses of Khadi victim by word for an ideology. Times have changed and the conditions have been changed. Khadi has today emerged as one of the most preferred fabrics by people and designers. The report of the working group considered by the planning commission on Boothby India's manufacturing exports during 12 five year plan, MCDS India's export of textiles and clothing US dollar 64 billion by the end of March 2017. As graduates of NIFT, you have to wide choice to work in various sectors of the textile industry <coughs> and become fashion professionals, fashion leaders, business managers, entrepreneurs. I'm sure you will bring new ideas to your field and contribute to growth of the industry through your hard work and skills. India is one of the biggest populated country in the world to China. Fashion, I cannot understand what is fashion. Everything is fashion now. <laughs> when you wear a new dress, that's fashion. If you are not wearing anything, that is also fashion. <laughs> I say that is not fashion. That's what word. We are an ancient country, India. We have so many caste community. In my younger days, I know, so many people never used to have sufficient dress. They can afford, but they will not use it. No jackets, no shirt, no pants, no clothes, no tie, nothing. Something actually we but from English people. Still my feeling is, we are traveling to the Dwabar Yuga. This is Kali Yuga. In Dwabar Yuga, now the dress, the fashion, what I am seeing now, See, I cannot, I don't want to criticize because then people will let stone seconds to me. <laughs> but still my feeling is, dress well, that is good. That is very important. Fashion, of course, you can make, you are making, I am making, anybody can. That is left to us. We can choose anything. Nobody will bother about it. Nobody is criticizing. But a general code should be there. That's what I am feeling. Maybe I may not be very fit to say about all this. But I'll tell you one thing. If the person is fair, they need to dress the resource. If he or he is not fair,
the trust you cannot. Can? I don't say cannot. Can. But uh, that is all we are making. The other thing is not like that. Now, dresses, fashion means that is you are translating and blotting from cinema field. And that also you are making, you are planning, you are teaching, you are doing. But which is good that we have to select. See, we should know when we are going for a function, what dress we want. So going for another function, what dress you want. So that is all very important. Goldsmith said once about dress, rich in our body apparel of importance to man. In old days we are seeing when you take Panjali's photo, Parvati's photo, so anything, even now, The important thing is how we wear a dress. That is very important. India, we have a culture. Our culture is not Western culture. Our culture is Asha Paradas culture. We have to maintain that. That is very important. Then we can have any selection. No problem for that. It is our fundamental right. We should know how far we can travel in that. Here, boys and girls, I am so happy to be with you today. This is not a new subject. It is a very old subject, if I say. This may be the oldest subject. Right from the beginning of the human being. Changes have come. Still, there will go like that. But we should not have any change. Our mind should not have any change. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for sharing your thoughts with our young graduating students, for sharing your vast experience and knowledge, your unique take on fashion, and for your gracious presence here. May I now request Professor Vikas Sapwalikar, eminent graphic designer and former executive director, National Institute of Design, to kindly constant endeavor to be fair, honest, and diligent in the discharge of my duties as a professional to uphold the dignity of the individual and integrity of the profession. And integrity of the profession. To, utilize to utilize my knowledge of design, management and technology, for the glory of the institute and in the service of textiles, apparel and accessory industries. And progress of my country and mankind at large. I will, in my profession, uphold the values and ethos of the nation. Thank you, Professor Sapwanikar, for administering the convocation all to our young graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now announce and present the awards and the degrees department-wise. I should request the Honorable Governor and our distinguished dignitaries to kindly join in the conferring of the awards and the degrees. We shall first announce the Best Academic Performance Award for the department and then invite
And now please welcome the first group of graduating students from this department. Ayushi Bharti, Aditi Agrawal, Ashwarya Vashistha, Amanda Sharma, Anga Somani, Anupama Kumari, Anurag, Ashwin Doshi, Beat Sindhuja, and Asha Kushari Bhattach. Congratulations to our first group of graduating students from the Master of Design space. Let's welcome our second group. Ornan Das, Daniel Flanagan, Dipanjalan Koshal, Dipanchu Sethya, Deepthi Arya. Ladies and gentlemen, very request to all our dignitaries to kindly join our governor in congratulating our young graduating students. And now the third, Ujari Spurti Shekhar. Congratulations once again. To all congratulations to Isha Singh as she is now joined by the first batch of her colleagues. Aditi Varma, Akati Mansingh, Nitasha Agarwal, Nitin Garbhaya, Neeli Trivedi, Pushti Singhal and Ravina Srivastava. Congratulations to our second group of students, Shanta Kolwankar, Sonata Dev, Shravani Katradara. Across all departments, the first award is the NIFT Extraordinary Service Award. And the winner of the NIFT Extraordinary Service Award for this year, from Fashion Design, Kunal Kumar Dabar. Department of Fashion Design for bagging the Lift Extraordinary Service Award. And the second special award is the Lift. <laughs> May I request Professor Jovi Chakpatikil to kindly present a memento to Sri Vishwas Deval. A vote of thanks, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Jovi Chakpatikil. Congratulations to all the graduating students and the families, and we wish you all a fabulous day ahead. Thank you. Yes. 
देख रहे हैं कि खुशी की लहर दौड़ रही है तमाम स्टूडेंट्स में और ये देख के मुझे हमेशा बहुत खुशी होती है क्योंकि ग्रेजुएशन सेरेमनी स्टूडेंट्स के लिए बहुत अहमियत रखती है मैं समझती हूँ नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फैशन टेक्नोलॉजी का बहुत जुड़ा हुआ रीजन है आज के दौर में हो सकता है बच्चे जो ग्रेजुएट हुए हैं ये अपना काम इस तरह से करेंगे कि ताकि वो हर चीज़ में रहे। ओके, मैं बात कर रहा हूँ दो मिनट